Um, this one's wife, NFI'd yet again. Hello, I'm HG Tudor. NFI time has visited this one's wife. For those that you don't know, NFI stands for not fucking invited. It's not just being overlooked, it's being positively snubbed. It applies when you had an expectation that you would be invited to something, sometimes not unreasonably so. For instance, there's a friend of yours, and it's their birthday, a friend that you've known for some time, and you find yourself not invited. That's not just being not invited, you've been NFI'd because that individual recognised that you expected to attend, perhaps even understood that you should attend, but for whatever reason decided that you were not going to be invited, and thus you have been NFI'd. This one's wife gets NFI'd regularly. Why? There are two constituent parts to this equation. The first, as a consequence of her narcissism, her sense of entitlement, her lack of boundary recognition, her lack of accountability for her behaviour, means that she expects that she should be going to lots of these events, basically because she is who she is. Because she is the amazing this one's wife, centre of the universe, healer of the sick, protector of the weak, defender of the injured, multi-talented actress, she believes that if there's an Oscars event, she should be there. That if there's a Golden Globes event, she ought to be there. That if there is the opening of something which involves glitz and glamour and A-listers, then she ought to be there. That if there is a groundbreaking event that involves famous people, she should be there. Accordingly, her sense of entitlement creates within her an expectation that she be invited to these various events, irrespective of whether she has any actual connection to them. In her world, her narcissism creates that connection. It drives her to see that there is a link when there isn't actually one. It's similar to the way, for instance, that when a man talks to her, she believes, and genuinely, that he wants to sleep with her. There's nothing indicating that he does. He doesn't look her up and down with a salacious eye. He doesn't grab her and kiss her on the neck. But in her world, her narcissism tells her he fancies you, he wants to slip you a crippler. He wants to play hide the sausage. He wants to pound your punani pavement. This is because the narcissism's job is to make her feel important and special so that she's then motivated to interact with people to control them and draw fuel. The second part of the equation as to why she gets NFI'd is people don't like her. They see her as a Janie-come-lately, who's only become well-known as a consequence of the man that she married. They see her as lacking talent. She, doesn't be, she is not seen as being one of them. She is someone who is viewed as desperate. Remember the conversations that were held at a party, where they were laughing at her frequent hoovering attempts to hang out with people? The fact is... The way that she has behaved both in terms of the way that she's behaved towards her family and her in-laws, the way that she's conducted herself in the world at large, and the way that she's dealt with other people, has meant that she has this toxic uh, uh, reputation. Therefore, the NFIs happen because, one, she expects that she should be invited to these events in the first place, and two, she's not invited as a consequence of well, she's not really someone that has a connection to be invited. And furthermore, even if she had, we're not really moved to invite her because we don't like her. And thus, that's why she keeps getting NFI'd. 
If she didn't have the sense of entitlement, she wouldn't be expecting to turn up to these events in the first place. And therefore, the NFIs wouldn't have the same impact. Furthermore, if she didn't operate with that sense of entitlement, it's likely she would be better regarded by people, and therefore may well be more likely to be invited to the events. But a combination of those factors means that whenever there's a big event going on in the world that she believes she should inhabit, she's NFI'd. And it's happened again, as Eileen Reslin reports in page 6, inside Jeff Bezos's star-studded 60th birthday bash hosted by fiancé Lauren Sanchez. Who was there? Jeff Bezos's 60th birthday party was out of this world. The Amazon founder's star-studded soiree was held Saturday evening at his and fiancé Lauren Sanchez's mansion in Beverly Hills, California. The guest list was stacked with everyone from Hollywood A-listers to sport legends and business moguls. Jay-Z, Beyonce, Ivanka Trump, Jared Kushner, Russell Wilson, Oprah Winfrey, Gail King, Kim Kardashian, Kris Jenner, Hailey Bieber and Kendall Jenner were seen enjoying themselves during the festivities. Now, that's a list of names that this one's wife believes that she should be seen amongst, including key individuals that she once was pally with but have turned away from her. Bezos, who officially turned 60 on January the 12th, also parted with fellow wealthy tycoons Bob Iger, Bill Gates and NFL commissioner Roger Goodell at the gathering. A source exclusively gushed to page six about the amalgamation of some of the most powerful people in the world being together in one room. Jeff was having a blast. The insider told us he was hugging everyone and thanking them for coming. Some of the partygoers paid tribute to Bezos's affinity for outer space, which is well known given that he owns his own aerospace company called Blue Origin and has blasted off in his own penis-shaped rocket ship. However, we're told that the party didn't have an official space theme, but was rather a way for people to honour Jeff. Paris Hilton was there. She wore a sparkly star pattern dress and stylish updo for the occasion. Whilst at the celebration, she posed alongside her sister, Nikki Hilton, and Jewel for a group photo. There were plenty of pictures of famous and well-known individuals. Katy Perry was there, and Orlando Bloom. Hmm, aren't they neighbours of this one's wife and supposedly friends? Well, they turned up at the party, and there are various guests who this one's wife would die to be seen with. But they weren't invited. And it's suggested that that's part of the reason why the Sussex is cleared off to Jamaica. Because there's another event they weren't being invited to, and they had to make it look as though, sorry, we're not available, we'd already got something planned. And therefore, it was an attempt to deflect from the clear wounding that was caused as a consequence of this NFI situation. Another instance of this one's wife being ignored by the very people that she believes that she belongs to. And given the names that I've mentioned and the people that you can have seen across the screen, it was clearly a snub once again sent in the direction of this one's wife. I'm H.D. Tudor. Thank you for listening.